Hi, this is Jay Wilson, Game Director on Diablo 3. Today I'm going to tell you about a new feature we've added called Artisans. Artisans are special NPCs who help the player in his fight against Diablo by lending their skills as craftsmen. This is a concept of the blacksmith, the first artisan you'll encounter in Diablo 3. You don't start the game with access to artisans. You discover them on your journey through Sanctuary. The loyalty of these craftsmen is not given freely, it has to be earned. When you encounter them in the game, you'll have to gain their trust and loyalty by being the hero that we all know you are. Once you've gained their trust, they will follow you throughout your adventures, aiding you any way that they can. We knew we wanted to add a crafting system to Diablo 3, but we felt that the idea that the player would have a side job on top of the immediate pressure of saving the world didn't really fit the tone of a Diablo game. We also didn't want the player to have to spend a ton of time banging on an anvil when they should be out killing things. So instead, artisans will do the crafting for you. As you can see, the blacksmith has set up shop in New Tristram and is ready to help out. Artisans can act as a normal vendor, selling a variety of useful items and purchasing anything you don't want to keep in your bag. All artisans can also craft certain items, depending on the type of artisan. The blacksmith mostly focuses on weapons and some types of armor. On top of that, all artisans have special abilities unique to them. The blacksmith can repair items, but most importantly, he can add gem sockets to some item types that do not already have sockets, regardless of the quality of the item. In addition, all artisans have training options so you can upgrade them and talk options for that all-important gossip about what's happening in the world of Sanctuary. Let's talk about crafting first. Crafted items are meant to be an alternate way for the player to acquire items. Artisans learn recipes for items as they level up, but some of the best recipes are found in the game world as drops off of monsters. Once an artisan has learned a recipe, he can craft it as long as you provide the materials and some gold to cover his expenses. In keeping with Diablo tradition, we didn't want a crafting system that produced completely predictable items. So most items your artisan creates will have a series of set and random properties. Here we see a few items that have some set, but mostly random properties. These could be good for any class depending on what properties they produce. The main special skill of the blacksmith is his ability to add gem sockets to specific item types. This is regardless of quality of the item, so a rare or legendary weapon could have sockets added to it. This allows gems to be used to a much greater degree in Diablo 3 than the previous games. To craft items you need materials. Materials are acquired primarily through salvaging. You can use a special artifact you acquire that allows you to break items down into materials that can be reused in the crafting process. This has a couple of advantages. Less trips to the vendor to sell items because you can easily break them down while you're adventuring. And any items you don't need, you can recycle in the hopes that they can be turned into something better. Artisans can be improved over time. The artisan does this by using crafting materials you provide him to train and practice. As you can see, once you've acquired the right materials, the upgrade process is quick. The goal here is to put the time investment into acquiring the materials you need through fighting monsters, not have you spend tons of time in town with your vendor. One of the great things about artisans is that they are visualized in the world. As you can see, now that the blacksmith has leveled up, the look of his shop has improved. Here's an example of how much a single artisan can improve throughout the game with this fully upgraded blacksmith. Once you're done dealing with your artisan, you're free to take your newly acquired fat loot and return to monster fighting and rainbow viewing.